Good day to you all guys and girls, I am Mike Scorpio and I am the quietly spoken Jack Longman <laughs> and the open minded editor in chief uh, of Mike Turner 64 and this is our end of year uh, video, we just want to thank all of our supporters, that's all of you guys uh, for supporting our website, for liking us on Facebook, for following us on Twitter and Tumblr and Instagram and also subscribing to our YouTube channel, Mike Tendo 64 Gaming. So thank you very, very much guys. We really, really do appreciate your support and we do try to uh, show our appreciation with our giveaways. Uh, which, unlike most people, it actually comes from our own pockets. We don't get paid nearly enough to uh, be able to do these willy-nilly, so it comes out of our hard-earned cash from our other jobs that we do to help do our giveaways, just to show our appreciation, to say thank you for following our website. But it's not just... Uh, about giveaways. Fun. It's not just about uh, giveaways, of course, no. No. So, um, <laughs> we also want to thank you. I mean, it's not just our own pockets that we pay these out of. We have been given some generous donations as well from indie developers on Nintendo um, devices. Platforms. <laughs> That's the one, yes. <laughs> Nintendo platforms and some of those that actually want to come to Nintendo platforms as well. So, we want to give a big special Thank you to these guys as well, to developers and also to a couple of uh, special celebrities too. Uh, first off, we want to thank uh, Midi Pixel for Warlock Towers. So that's Midi Pixel Studio. So thank you very much, guys. We also want to give a quick thanks to Arcanity Inc. They're the guys who are bringing Tanzia to Steam and hopefully one day to a Nintendo home console because that would be great. Tanzia is a fantastic adventure game. You know, if you like it Zelda, is. you're going to really love Tanzia. That's all I can say. And talking about Zelda, if you really do love Zelda, as we do, um, FDG Entertainment with Ocean Horn, which is supposedly coming to the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, they keep hinting that it is yet to officially confirm it, but come on, in our interview, the guy practically went, yeah, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> so thank you. But also Zelda related again, we'd also like to thank Ty Anderson, the guy yes, who is oh, making the Ocarina of Time ROM but he would be converted to be Link's Awakening. And he is pretty much doing everything from scratch using the models of Ocarina of Time and creating a couple of his own models as well. For Marin, for example. Yes, and because it's not just those guys, we've been we playing of others, so in a bit of an order, we would like to give thanks to Matt Bozen of Way Forward for our little shanty interview. Yes. We'd like to thank Justin Fernandez of 13 AM Games when he came, first spoke with us regarding Rumbo. Of course. Then uh, there was the interview with William DeRay, which was my first ever Skype interview. Which is my first And this was regarding Jotun. It was a lot of the stuff did not come out in my recording, so a lot of stuff had to be down to memory. But I'm really glad with how the written interview came out. Well, you have got a very good memory. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, then there was our double dose interview with Image and Form, yes. talking about Heist, the collection, of course, the company behind it. Then we had Drinkbox Studios with Severed, Thomas Hack Games with Axiom Verge. Mm -hmm. Then there was Choice Provisions, when we instantly approached the guys as soon as Runner Free was first confirmed. Yes. You know, we were actually one of the first people to talk to them about this new title. Then we interviewed Rain Games about World to the West, and I'm really excited for that. It's, it's yes, coming it's soon. Yes, it's a really great game. And then after that, we interviewed 13A Games regarding Pirate Pop, Pop Plus. Plus. Yes, and then after that, we got in touch with Dedaco Studios as well. well. <laughs> to, talk about there, to also talk about Pir Pirate Pop Plus, but also the uh, other game that are coming, which is... Uh, it's Pirate something. It's PP. I, I think Pirate Pete. No, not, it does feature a pirate, pirate thing, but it's not pirate, the same oh. pirate thing. I forget what it's called, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a really great game. It's um, like Final Fantasy, the original game, so the last yeah. thing, and it's going to be amazing. It's really going to be incredible. <laughs> I'm so, I feel so bad for forgetting its name. They're going to be screaming it to us when they're watching this video now. The Dark Coast is going to be like, it's this! <laughs> this video. I'm going to let you talk while I'm trying to think up the name of it. Uh, also to Rata Lake uh, Games as well with their port of Plantera and also talking about a couple of other ports of theirs too. Uh, Wraith Games as well. 
Um, yes, yeah, Rave Games regarding Collapsus, mm -hmm. which is also another week, a title coming to the Wii U very soon. We also had the chance to speak with a Prismatic Studios, and they're behind bringing Hex Heroes also to the Wii U. Mm -hmm. Then there was Gurman 3D, the remastered and re port to the 3DS, 3DS. which has been, been come to us courtesy of Mastiff Games. So thank you very much, guys. Yeah, I, I absolutely love that game. You, you, you look at it, it's like you think it's a childish game, because yeah, you have this young protagonist and the effects, but no, it's quite serious. You get into it, and it's a good adventure. Yeah, yeah. I was watching, uh, I was looking up something the other day, guys, and I think I found out where your inspiration came from. I think it's a game that's called Steel Driver. <laughs> and the protagonist is a young girl who has a machine, right, which was designed by her father or something, and she uses this machine which has a drill on the end. So I'm seeing a little bit of a connection yeah. there. You might want to find out when that was, because um, Guru I mean, did come out in like 2003, 2004. Originally, oh, no, this was a lot, this was before that. Oh, okay. Before that. But then we'd also like to give thanks to Upfall Studios for our little talk regarding Quest of Dungeons. Mm -hmm. Then there was Blob Game Studios, who are behind the indie game indie game battle which is basically an indie version of Smash. It's not got all the big hard hitting characters like Shovel Knight and Shanty confirmed, but there are a couple of noticeable characters for the game already and you know work on this game is ongoing. And we also want to give uh, special thanks as well to Noe Le Combre. Um He was one of three who was working on Dungeon of Zart, which is one of the first indie games we heard confirmed for the Nintendo Switch. Yes. Uh, also, so merci beaucoup. No, merci, merci beaucoup. beaucoup. <laughs> uh, we also want to give a big shout out as well uh, to everyone that we met in Barcelona as well. You guys, uh, it was incredible to to be able to inv interview a lot of these uh, indie developers yes, that uh, in fun. person that were creating these games. Uh, a lot of them will be coming to Steam. A couple of them have interest in coming to uh, Nintendo consoles as well. Uh, we also talked to a couple of the guys that were behind Jankin Cards. Yes. So be sure to keep an eye out for that. It was a very, very fun game. It was very, very fun to be able to play it with one of the developers. And do you know what else other game was totally awesome? Caveman Warriors. That Caveman game, Warriors was that great. Game. That was really, really great. So be sure to keep an eye out for that as well. And also... During our time there, we want to give a big a thanks out to the big C. No, not cancer. Um, <laughs> mind you, he could be considered cancerous, but in a good way. It's Charles Martinet, an absolute amazing person. He's a really, really great person to have met. Uh, the voice of Super Mario. So thank you very much, and I'm really, really sorry if I've just referred to you as cancer. I shouldn't. That was really, really bad. Please forgive me. So, um, sorry, let's, be, let's be clear. You called Charles Martinet cancer, basically, or compared him to. But in a good way. And I, for the life of me, can still not remember the name to a game I interviewed about. <laughs> I'm really sorry, did that go? <laughs> really I know it's pirate something, it's PP. Because in the, the when we were doing the short head of the interview, every time I said pirate pop us we just bit PPP. And when we talked about this other game, it was just PP and it's like, ah, oh, it's pirate. Maybe something. you should stop saying PP on <laughs> Pirate something yeah. beginning with P. <laughs> Uh, so yes guys, so thank you very very much for your support, uh, we really really do cherish it and we just want to take this time now uh, to all of you um, independent developers and also you know those that work with Nintendo that have got games on the Nintendo console, but if you'd like to, us to interview you for our website then please get in touch with us, uh, you can do that at miketendo64 at gmail.com, uh, you can also contact us through Facebook, private message on Twitter, uh, or leave a comment below this video and we will get back in touch with you. But we also want to take this moment, right, to openly threaten <laughs> Yacht Club Games. Yacht Club Games with Shovel Knight. Okay, <laughs> guys, why are you taking so long to get in touch with us? I mean, I know we're small, okay, we're like minnows in a pond. I mean, you guys are huge now. But well, don't perfect. forget your roots. <laughs> Okay, you guys started out with almost like next to nothing and then you've got this huge great big game that you don't want to talk to the little guy anymore. That's just mean guys, that's just mean. And also, whilst on the subject, I would just like to say to uh, Playtonic Games, if you guys could get in touch with us as well as regards to ukulele, we would really really love to uh, interview you guys uh, about you bringing ukulele to the Wii U. 
uh, and maybe if it's coming to the Nintendo Switch as well, but there's no promises, I know that. Uh, if you could just respond to our messages, even if you weren't interested, just say, look guys, we're very, very busy, uh, you're too small for us, uh, we're after the big fish, we get it, we do, we get it, so thank you. Uh, yes. Also, because we want to make sure we didn't leave anyone out of our thanks, we would also like to say thank you to Catfish Blues Games, yeah. They're the guys who brought Hyperite X to the new Nintendo 3DS, and just so you know, that is the only game they're bringing to a current Nintendo platform. Okay. So, so there is possibility of a Nintendo Switch title, just nothing said yet. Nothing said yet. But we'd also like to thank Tiny, Tiny Build, Build Games. Games for Punch Club, yes. which is coming to the 3DS. It was revealed earlier on this year, during the September Direct, to be coming out sometime in October, but it mm -hmm. didn't. No. And we actually did write an article saying it wasn't coming out in October, and because I finally remembered, Pixel Pirate. It's for the Pixel Pirate. Studios. It's coming from the Stacker Studios. The next awesome RPG game cover is Pixel Pirate. And, and I also, I would like to thank uh, Thomas Hat as well for Thomas Hub Games with Axiom Verge so thank you very very much and if anybody else that we have interviewed and we have forgot to mention your names I'm very very sorry uh, it is just so much to try and stick into one video but uh, you guys are great and thank you very very much to all of you for the opportunity to interview you and so it is time for us to say goodbye uh, that's all from us for now so it's goodbye from me and it's goodbye from him until next time. <laughs> <laughs>